Good evening. Visit America's largest cities, and they are a common sight. Panhandlers begging for a handout. There may be ordinances or regulations, or maybe not. What about Fort Wayne? Why are we seeing more panhandlers standing around busy intersections in Fort Wayne than in the past? News Channel 15's Adam Widener went looking for those answers. What's the law in Fort Wayne, Adam? Well, that is a good question. What is the law in Fort Wayne? That's what we wanted to learn and what, if anything, has changed. Well, it turns out something has changed and it may be why finding panhandlers was so easy for, for, for photographer Ross Kinsey and me in our investigation. We make do with what we have, but we are limited to this one city ordinance. When it comes to panhandling, I'm just trying to get some of my rent money. The complaints have been piling up with Fort Wayne police. Based on the complaints that we receive and the number of calls, it appears that it's bothersome to some of the citizens in Fort Wayne. If this activity is bothersome or troubling, then yes, we should have the proper tools so that the activity doesn't continue to occur. Fort Wayne City Code currently says that no one can solicit donations from any public street, sidewalk, park strip, or median. But if you think that means panhandlers are in the wrong, it's a little more complicated. Much of the time they're standing on private property that is legal if they have permission. So if police, for example, get a complaint, they have to contact the property manager. And by the time they do that, the panhandler could be gone. A lot of times we really cannot do much about it. And that's why you will see it occurring over and over and over again in the same spot, even though you yourself may have called. Hi, this is Adam Widener with News Channel 15. 15 Finds Out spoke with a couple of managers of properties where we spotted panhandlers. They didn't want to go on camera, but each said it's a topic no one has ever brought up to them. One told me she would kick a panhandler off her property. The other didn't think it was a big issue. I've been here two hours, man. Really? You guys make money in this town doing this? It hasn't always been this way in Fort Wayne. The city's begging ordinance used to make it illegal to beg anywhere in the city unless that person had a permit. From 2008 to 2010, there was only one soliciting citation issued for this type of action. But in 2010, city council deemed its begging ordinance unconstitutional, a violation of the First Amendment. By a 7-1 to vote, it was gone. That may be why we've seen an increase in panhandling the past couple years. Since then, Fort Wayne police issued 11 citations in 2011 and 21 in 2012, a six-year high. If it gets to the point where it starts to get out of hand, then I think that, you know, there might be something that needs to be brought up. But what defines out of hand? It's like 40, 50 new people come out. City Council President Tom Didier says he's open to looking at different panhandling restrictions, but he doesn't think panhandling is a big enough problem to change the current code. But I don't know um, if there's a law or an ordinance that you can bring forth to try and control something of that nature. Ultimately, Didier thinks solving this problem shouldn't come down to government action, but a community who's willing to help. There's always going to be poor, and there's always going to be people that are going to be um, uh, not going to have what they need, the necessities in life. And if we can help them along the way in some small token, then so be it. And I think that's what we should do as a society. Until people stop handing money to these panhandlers and giving them something other than that, uh, it's going to continue. Now, we mentioned other cities earlier. One example is Dayton, Ohio. Police require Dayton panhandlers to hold a permit. It's free, but it's still required. I can tell you Fort Wayne Council President Tom Didier actually laughed at that ordinance when I told him about it. Now, if you miss any of our series of reports on Fort Wayne panhandling, we have them all linked on the homepage on wayne.com. Good job. Thanks. Right, thank you.